Okay, so we're doing some viewer tattoos today. Get back to basics here. And yeah. we got a, a spicy one leading into this. So um, we have these uh, tow castles, these tow towers, whatever you want to call them. Little tow cathedral. Which I, I haven't, I'm not sure I've seen this one before. But I haven't I, seen this one. I've seen so many like it. And Variations. I don't, like, I, I've seen this kind of trend a couple years ago on Instagram. Yeah, um, I don't know I how like long ago. Cas Castle Bassus or whatever. I, I, I it does know. a lot of this kind of stuff. But like the problem with this right away is these are very easy to do theoretically, but they're not easy to do to a place where they're going to look like this for very long. Oh, these lines are so tiny in the toes. Oof. So like there is a version of this tattoo that succeeds and is out there 100%. I've seen these healed i've seen them done very well darker bolder lines um even this one could potentially work it's just that i don't like this as a trend so much because like if you do get this to work you're most likely lucky or you've gone to someone who does them every day mm -hmm. so if you take this to your local tattooer who um, has no business doing this or no real experience doing this per se and you say, can I get something much like this? You're gonna end up with a lot of, you know, sketchy lines and dropout and blowouts and things that aren't gonna look this precise. And there's no way it will heal this well every single time. So it's no real surprise to me that we're getting the yield photo or the, the fresh photo of this with no healed photo behind it. Makes sense. Uh, it's too bad because, like, it, wouldn't it be cool if we could just do stuff like this and they would just always work? Uh, like, yeah. imagine if, if we were in the world of, like, the chat GPT or the, the AI-generated tattoos where they can just put a cool image on you. We were talking about this in the shop the other day. I said one day there's going to be a printer and it'll stretch your skin and it'll, like, laser a tattoo on you and, and it'll be perfect. But some of those textures in, in the AI designs are not doable in human skin on any level like no just but it not. would understand how to use the medium uh to 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 create those the the textures like it'll know what it would have to be possible. so intuitive because everyone's skin is so different but uh, that's i think that's why we don't have anything like that well and if we ever do have it i don't think it's going to be anytime soon because right. like it would be a catch-all for a long time what and i want is a tattoo machine that like glows red when you're in the wrong skin depth or like it's like that's telling the same you to thing like fuck off You'd be wrong design, depth. you're designing the same product basically yeah because if you had that machine that could figure that out then we already have a machine that can give you the tattoo yep. without any person there right because like that's most of well, the human part one. of it like well that's most of the human creativity right there right it's like if the reason why they say uh designing uh uh a comedic ai would be the hardest because um, so much of comedy is reading a room mm -hmm. and like finding it if a joke falls flat pivoting you know changing your tone whatever like yeah 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 or uh, uh, using a, a joke like um, bands will always make fun of the other city like uh, I, when I saw Blink-182 they made fun of Calgary well, when we were in Edmonton that one I could see a little easier because it's like ha ha topical humor right <laughs> AI but, gets it yeah, no, they're cool. It's just like I've seen a lot of these and I haven't seen so many of them healed. So me neither. It is what it is. So this guy has sent in stuff before. He's the one that sent in the uh, to Paul. Yeah, he sent in the I think he's the one that sent in the, the jellyfish thing and the weird stomach and back piece. Oh, OK. So so it says greetings from Russia. Uh, my name is Hans Jacobson. Ooh. Uh, love your journey. Please tell me what you think of this piece I got in one of our smallest towns with one tattoo shop. So let's take a look. Oh, I wish you took a better photo, sir. Is this the same guy? I think it's the same guy. Yeah, it is the same guy. Maybe this is just earlier or something. I don't know. Whatever Anyways. the case. Yeah. It looks like it could be a nice tattoo. 
If yeah. I could see it. Well, I mean, from what I see, it's nice. Yeah. The colors it's are like nice a, and solid. A, a geisha. What we got a terrible angle. Boob hanging out. It's a terrible yeah, it's angle. This is awful angle. I this, can barely see anything that's going on. This is one of those things where, like, they, they put the nipple in there, and I really wish they didn't just you because... You didn't need it. You don't need it. It doesn't really offer anything of value to me. Like, it's risky already. Well, if she was topless, it would make sense. Mm -hmm. But, like, the fact that they did it is just kind of, like... I mean, we're talking about it, so I guess that's something. But like, I would have liked this tattoo more if it was more tasteful. Just like this tiny nip. Especially because the whole image is tasteful already. It's not overly risky. But you don't know. Maybe the other boob is fully out. I like, also don't really understand it. these strands of hair below her chin. When you post up was very strange. What? That's not hair. No, this. This hair. Oh, that's, this? Yeah. I was thinking about the shading under the chin. The shading under the chin is strange. Yeah. But like, I find those nothing else is shaded like weird that. strands of hair that just kind of wobble and go nowhere don't really make a ton of sense to me either. People like straggler hairs. I mean, then there's a better way to go about it. Her hair is too solid, too. It looks like she's wearing a beret or something. Mm. Like a helmet. That This tattoo looks better at the start that it does as you get into it. I wish we could see it better, well, too. There's not enough, I'm sure there's more to it. There's not enough texture in any of the hair or the flowers, and then there's so much texture under her neck, it's almost like she has a beard or something. Yeah, and then the robe looks like it's got a lot of detail, too. It's actually kind of sad. It's very uneven. Yeah. Very uneven. Unbalanced. So and this is his other one? I mean, this one's better. It's just, again, that thing where you're just, like, stoned at 2 a.m., and you're like, I'm going to send so Remy my leg. Uh, I like this. It's very big and, uh, you know, bold. But I feel like it's not done. I it, think that red... I hope it's not done. Red should be filled in. It's kind of empty to me. Yeah. Like I do looks, like it, though. But it looks like a whole lot of nothing. She's like a it's big, big she, peony. But, but, like, where and what... Like, this peony looks like it was designed to be a part of something. Wow. It doesn't look like it's its own piece, necessarily. It is on this guy. But, like, it looks like it should be part of a bigger concept. Well, maybe the lightning bolts lead somewhere. I would hope so. It's, uh, right now, it's it's kind of just doing its thing and not really, you know. I think these are both well-done tattoos, like applied well. Yeah. And I, I'm kind of, I think the pictures are sort of ruining them for us. Well, but they're definitely not helping. So, <laughs> um, so let's move on. So this one is from, looks like Joseph, says, Hey, Remy and Remy's wife. My name is Sarah. Uh, here's a cover-up I just got done in Salem, MA, from the same artist who did my chest. Hopefully I have a lot more tattoos to send you after this, not counting the bunch I already sent you. Oh, I want to get a tattoo seen other in ones? Salem. This no. is a terrible photo. Again, bad photo. <laughs> I'm sure this is a really cool tattoo. Well, it's a strange tattoo. It, uh, yeah, uh, you got nothing going on on your hand except for some weird background. Filler. I don't understand what they did here. Nah. They surrounded the hand but didn't tattoo the hand. Maybe he didn't want his hand tattooed. They did the knuckles and they saturated the knuckles and they got the lines to work on the knuckles. They skirted most of the hand. Remy's wife likes the skull. Well, the skull is cool, but like, why didn't the skull just come down <laughs> the hand and take up the space? I don't know. Like, you could have made a bigger skull. I feel like I need to see the rest of the arm to answer that question. Uh, I don't need to see the rest of anything to answer that question. That skull just could have been made bigger. True that. Like just, just flat out. Suddenly his eyes are down here, and the, the snout is down here. And your hand is full, and you don't have this weird problem of, the fuck are we going to do with all this strange negative space? Filigree. Weird filigree. The... Strange shading just made his hand look dirty. Yeah, I kind of want to see your hand open too. <laughs> like this, just this whole thing is strange. I mean, it's, I don't hate it. It's just again, it's a well done tattoo. Well, I mean, it's it's decent. It's not like it's nothing like incredible, but it's not bad. Mm -hmm. It's just very odd. It you is. rarely see this where odd you frame the hand like this mm -hmm. and don't bother filling it. Nah. Like I don't quite understand. It's like they didn't want to full send it. It's like, I kind of want a hand tattoo, but I don't want to suffer through all of it, though. Yeah, oh, but it's going to hurt too much, so just do a little bit. <laughs> Can we find a way to skirt around most of the hand? But make it look full still. Uh, yeah, it's it's an odd one. Very strange. And so then we have some more hand tattoos, and I think this is, uh, you know, this is obviously much worse than the last one. Kind of reminds me a bit of your old hand tattoos. Oh, not even close. <laughs> not even close. Mine were funny, but, like, they weren't. 
they were in there at least. Are these like X Men symbols? Or? Uh, I hope so. Are we straight edge or? I, I think it's either that or that, right? I don't know. It's interesting to me. Is that yellow ink or is that just dropout? This is like a. It's like he took this photo in a smoker's lounge. I feel like it's like a heavy film obscuring does everything. Does this side on the of screen. his knuckles say edge? E uh, D G E. Edge. Maybe these are straight edge tattoos. Yeah, I see edge, but I don't know what the other one says. And the only thing I can think is S T R eight. Oh, you are straight edge. So ah, I got it. Straight edge. Yeah. yeah, and those are X's. Yeah, and those are those are the X's. Um, well. I don't know. It's all fairly poorly done, and uh, I would get in there and fucking hammer this out if you care about this tattoo. I appreciate your straight edge tattoos. I'm surprised that tattoos. the letters are readable when these X's are so pissy. You know, it doesn't really make sense, because if you could saturate those letters, you would think that you could fucking get the black into the hand. So... <laughs> Uh, Let's say we're done by someone with an idea. What yeah, doing. maybe. I so I'm I'm gonna say that it's so straight edge tattoos like on the tops of the hands are a little bit hard uh, to do. Um, um, they follow the same basic principles of tattooing. It's, that's not saturate how I mean that the black. Hard. Um, so it's depending on where he's from. So if he's American, so straight edge was considered a gang in the U.S. Uh, for quite some time. Uh, there was a there was a group. Uh, and they had these like really significant looking straight edge tattoos. I feel like tattoos. it's been a while since anyone's given a shit about any oh. of that. And uh, if you came in here for this, for example, Terry's just going to be like, you want the sex? Okay. Slaps it on. Yeah. Tattoo. Get the fuck out of here. So like. I don't give a fuck why. I don't care. Get out. You paid. I also have a straight edge tattoo. Uh, yeah. So I feel passionate. Um, I hate these X's. I think you should have gone for the crazy marker looking X's, you know, just like they do at the they show. They look more like X-Men logos. That is my problem with them. I like, I appreciate that you, you know, want to show off your straight edgeness, but. Well, I mean, it ones. looks like he got these done in some drug fiend's basement. So yeah. it doesn't really convey the message. Like the guy who did this looks like he was on meth. You know what I mean? I hope he so wasn't it's, on it's meth like, because, you know, it's an anti-drug tattoo. Well, I, right. <laughs> but this has that kind of, uh, you know, dirty kind of basement tattooer vibe that is prevalent in, you know, drug use. Maybe typically. it's uh, my best friend's in a hardcore band and he also tattoos, so he gave me some shitty straight edge tattoos. Well, get them fixed up because <laughs> usually these things mean a lot to people that have them. Oh, yeah. So you would want them looking nice, I would think. Yeah, I would, uh, I don't know, black them out, do a nice white X over top. I mean, top. that would always be my my yeah. fucking suggestion for this stuff is just to black it out. But uh, yeah. not everybody's going to go through all that. You could at least just saturate the black in that fucking... For me, it's just it's the circles. The circles killed it. If you just had the Xs, I think that would be really cool. The I, circles around the Xs really killed it. There's a lot more than circles going wrong here uh, for me. I, well, the circles... What is the stuff it? up top, even? I don't even know. It's probably, you know, something else fun. I, I, I would like to see the rest of your arms now that I... I don't you know. know that I need to. I think that's enough for me. 